In the mystic experience, we are overwhelmed by gratefulness. Uh, everybody says that it's just overwhelming. And the, one way of channeling that mystic experience into everyday living is through living gratefully. And that takes away fear because, uh, and that uh, is a roundabout way of explaining it, but when we are grateful, we are always grateful now. You cannot be grateful in the past or in the future. You're always present, grateful now. And uh, that puts you into the, what we call the Christ self, the self. Uh, and uh, Buddha, Buddhists will call it the Buddha nature. It's, it's your true self. Uh, your unveiled self. It's always there, but it's mo mostly veiled to our eyes. Uh, so when you are grateful, you are in the present moment, and so you are in the self, while the ego is always in the past and in the future, preoccupied with the past, or oh, what I have lost, or oh, what uh, I have suffered, and with the future, what I would like, and uh, what threatens me. It's always in the past and the future is caught up in time. So if we uh, are grateful, we are switching from time into eternity, because the now is eternity. The now is not in time. Uh, we think that the now is in time. We think it is that little stretch of time between the past and the future. But as long as it is a little stretch of time, you always can cut it in half, and half is not because it's no more, and half is not because it's not yet. And you discover that now is not in time. We live in the moment in and out of time, as T.S. Eliot calls it. Uh, time is in eternity. Uh, it, it's, uh, we really live in eternity. Our true self, our Christ self, is in eternity, is in the now. And so whenever you're grateful, you are switching to that self that all of us have in common. It's for all, one for all of us. And so there's nothing to fear. There's nothing outside. It takes away fear immediately.